All right, folks, continuing on. We spent some time talking about the R1, the FAL, and this gun in my hands is probably the second most popular battle rifle chambered in 7.62 NATO during the African Bush Wars, and this is the HKG3. Now the HKG3 was developed and it was designed right about the same time as the Belgians were making the FAL. Now the Belgians, as we know, licensed the FAL to Canada, to the UK, they licensed it to Austria, they licensed it to South Africa to build licensed copies of the FNFAL. So why didn't Germany, instead of spending the time and effort to build a G3, why didn't they just license the FAL and build them themselves? Ha <laughs> ha! Because in 1953, it had only been how many years since World War II? Eight. It had only been eight years since the end of World War II. And to say that the Belgians didn't quite trust the Germans, I think is an accurate and fair statement. The Belgians, I believe, at the time were thinking, we've already played this game with the Germans twice this century. The answer is no, you don't get to make our rifles. So, what did the HK engineers do? Now, if you guys know your history, you'll know that Germany in World War II, in the 40s and 30s even, was very influential in the country of Spain. If you look at the Spanish army during World War II, they almost look like the German army. They almost look like the Wehrmacht. So the Spanish and the, and the Germans were pretty tight. And Setme, C-E-T-M-E, don't ask me to pronounce it, it's Spanish, uh, the official Spanish state firearms manufacturer worked on a battle rifle in 762 by 51 NATO and it was the original Set Me rifle. And a lot of you guys, if you're history buffs, you're like, yeah, but the Set Me looks almost identical to a G3 with just a few exceptions. Well, there's a reason for that. Because first they came up with the Set Me rifle, and then they came up with the G3. HK is like, that's cool. We're going to make a few minor adjustments. The original Set Me's came with hardwood furniture. They had their own unique rear sight, and uh, the safety lever on a set me rifle is up to fire, down for safe. So that when you were carrying the rifle, it was on safe, meaning down. If when you wanted to fire it, the soldier had to push it up with his thumb. And the German engineer said, no, that doesn't make any sense. You should you should squeeze it down because that's how humans work. That's how the human animal works, right? Especially under stress, the human animal wants to do this. It doesn't want to do that. So the Germans modified the selector lever. So on a G3, that's one of the easiest ways to tell the difference between a G3 and a set me is how does the safety lever function, okay? The other way is uh, the Germans with the G3 rather than hardwood furniture and steel magazines. Now there are some steel magazines for the G3, but the majority of the magazines for the G3 are aluminum. And the furniture, the stock and the fore end, well, they're made of polymer. Otherwise, it's a very close replica to the Setme. Now why did these end up in Rhodesia? How did they end up in Africa? Many of you know that the Portuguese had Mozambique as a colony, well, they lost it. They lost it after a civil war, after the communist rebels kicked them out. But the Portuguese were one of the few openly supporting countries, or one of the few countries to openly support Rhodesia during the whole Rhodesian Bush War. And it's no surprise that a whole bunch of G3s made it across the border into Rhodesia. And from a distance, if someone was holding 
an FAL and someone was holding a G3. From a distance, they look very similar. Of course, the barrel, the barrel on an FAL looks longer, obviously, uh, and the stocks are different, but they're they're very similar uh, in in design and look. So this, ladies and gentlemen, this is the HK G3, done up in a paintbrush brush stroke, <laughs> an original baby poop paintbrush brush stroke. And these guns were very prevalent during the African Bush War. Hey there, folks. Thanks for watching the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Now I'd like to personally invite you to join us at GetSOTG.com. Sign up today and you'll never miss another article, radio show, or video. That's GetSOTG.com. Thanks a lot.